All right, so now that we've gone through how to create an explicit form, we found out how to go ahead and work out the, um, the explicit form and using to find the first five terms and then find the specific term they want. Now, they give you the first term and they say find the next four. So they gave you A1. You had to figure out what A2, A3, A4, and A5 are because you need to find the next four terms. So with this, we're going to start off with the second term. So here, and also let's look at the problem because it's different than what we've looked at. But this one, they like to show you things or do things like this when it comes to the final exam and all good stuff. So here, a n is going to equal a that a n minus one sub one sub n minus one plus seven point four, and we say that a one is negative five. So what we have to do with this problem is figure out again the next four terms. So that means we already have a one given to us right there. So now what we have to do is go ahead and start with A2. So they gave us the formula that's right here. So we're going to use that formula to help us find A2. That's the W. We use that formula to help us find A2. So with that, if we take a look at this spot and what's in this spot right here, okay, A matches up, the N matches up with the number 2. So again here, n is going to equal number 2 there. So when we write this part here, we're going to say n equals 2 for that spot. So we're going to do a 2 minus 1 plus, plus 7.4. OK. Now we need to simplify it down. Simplify it. Make it a little bit easier to work with. So a 2 equals 2 minus 1 gives us an answer of what? 2 minus 1 is 1, right? Right. Plus 7.4. Okay? So we have A2 equals A1 plus 7.4. And does anybody again see where we got the 2 from? We said that M was equal to 2 because that's what this number is right there. So n is equal to 2. Okay. Now, most people are going to be like, oh my gosh, that's not it. We're not done. There's so much work. Oh, so much work. So, we do have more work to do. We do. So here, we already know what a1 is equal to. That's what they gave us at the very beginning. So a1 right here, we said it's negative 5. That's what they gave us. So we're going to work this out completely now. So we have negative 5 plus 7.4. That's the 7.4. All right, so again, we just simplify those out and then find the answer. So A2 should equal, we do, if we subtract that, that will be 2.4. Okay, so again, that's kind of looks kind of messy and kind of confusing a little bit, but they gave us a two first off here, and that's what we need to find a second term. That's that was the second term we need to find. We said that n, our n, and let's see if we can change the color here to purple. So we said our n right here matched up with this two right here. So we said that n was equal to two. All right, so looking at this part here, we put that in for this spot. If n equals 2 here, that means n is going to equal 2 for that one. So we put 2 in for that right there, n. So in other words, whenever we see n, we're going to put a 2 in that spot for this. Whenever we see an n, we put a 2 in that spot. Okay. So that's what we did here for the second term. Let's go to the third term. Uh, uh. Uh, can't you call A3. So what would our n equal here if that's A3? So if it's A3, that means our n is equal to 3. 
So whenever we do our formula here again, or whenever we do this part, whenever we see an N, we put a 3 in it. So here, we have A, N minus 1, uh, plus 7.4. And again here, N is 3. Uh, Resist the urge to write this down as 3 minus 1 is on the same line as 7.4. A and 7.4 are on the exact same line. 3 minus 1 is below A. 3 minus 1 is below A. It's like N minus 1 right here is below A. 3 minus 1 is below A. It's a subscript. Subscript. So below. Okay. So here. 3 minus 1 is 2. 7.4 there. And again, we're taking the term right before that, and we're substituting directly into the problem. And really, once we start doing this multiple times, that's what happens all the time. We just substitute the, the term that's right before it. And then here, again, we just add it, and then we're done. So not 2.4 2, uh, 7, 2 and 7.4 equal up to be 9.8. Yay. OK, so this can get a little confusing. And if you are confused, it's OK. Just if, take it back through the video one more time. Go through it a little bit slower. And stop it at times so you can make sure you understand, and then keep going. If none of that works, going back through it yourself, then call me over. Okay, let's go ahead and go on because we need to get to a, the first four, or the next four. So we're saying n equals four because we're talking about a sub four, a four. So again here, whenever we put it in, we put four in for n also. Put it directly in there. And again, a four, three minus one, oh, sorry, three, four minus one is three. Oops, sorry, did the wrong a, ha, huh, my bad. So this is a sub three. Okay, and again, with just like we just did for the last one, Oh, there we go. We take that and we substitute it in for A3. And again here, we need to add that together to get our answer for A4. So 9.8 and 7.4. If you do 8 and 4, that's 12. So that's 9 plus 7 and plus 1, so that would give us 17. 17.2. Okay, so a lot of people last year when we got to this, they just stopped there and was like, well, they said, find the next 4. I found 4, so I'm good. It says find the next 4, so it means we have to, we start off with A1. So now we have to go ahead and go to the last one, which is A5. And this one is a lot of work. I understand. I agree. But you still got to persevere through it. That's one of our mathematical um, practices. Persevere. Make sense of problems and persevere in problems and solving them. So we got to persevere. It's like a real life situation, like problem that you learn. Persevere through the, the madness. Persevere through the stupidity that you say that it is. Because nobody likes math in the first place. It's all boring. It's dumb. Oh my gosh, it's so stupid. So, but you gotta persevere through all the stupid. And you guys can do it. You guys have been doing it. I'm proud of you. Just keep going though. Push yourself.
It's like you're in a weight room. You got to push yourself until you get to that max weight that you're trying to get to. You can't just stop because it's hard, because you don't want to do it anymore. Well, I don't want to go back to the gym anymore, so I'm not going to do it. You can't do that. Then you will never reach your goal. Your goal is to graduate, so we got to make sure you get you to graduate through this, this bad boy, passing this class. So push hard, persevere. All right, so again, we found A4, and that was our term before. We substitute it in, and we just add it together. So I guess that's 24.6 is A5. Okay, so it's a lot of work for that one. There is work. It's not hard. It's just you got to think through the process and calm down a little bit with it. Don't freak out. But you guys can do this. This is not that bad. You can do it. But this is one of those things that I like to throw at you. And again, if you have questions on it, call me over. Talk to people around you and see if they know how to do it first and it makes sense to them. And then call me over if you don't. It doesn't make sense to anybody. All right. So this is example five. So we need to give you a practice on it.